Right, our class has started, Shabana ma'am. Thank you so much for waiting. Uh, I think you cannot start the class until the first recording doesn't get over. So that's why uh, the class is getting delayed. But I think the kids are all pumping for oh, your business studies. This is perfectly fine. Um, hello, everybody. How are you? How have you been? Fine. And uh, any okay. Now suppose, okay, you were a color, okay, which color would you be, right? If you were a color, which color would you be and why? Go on, come on, start giving me answers now, okay? Who would like to go first? Yes, Sophia? I want to become blue because blue is the king of the colors. Oh, fantastic. Okay. You would like to be blue because you are... Okay. What about Humaira? Go on. Humaira, you need to... Humaira, you need to unmute yourself, please. Yeah, go on. Tell me. Yeah. Uh -huh. What is homework? I will I will find out. Okay, I will check. Yes, Humaira, tell me which color would you be? I will teach you about Google Classroom. Is important. And for your Sorry? Practice, for your physical thing, you can take red color. color. And why would that be? Because yeah. I love roses. Oh, fantastic. By the way, red is my favorite color as well. Yes, Saklin, what about you? Yellow. Yellow. Wow, sunshine. Why would that be? Because it's very bright it looks very bright and shiny okay and may you also be very bright and shine and you know create a be the sun in everybody's life yes what about mazam and mudabbir i like your hairstyles you look cool huh yo tell me i'd like to be light blue okay so you are very specific okay you like to be light blue fantastic and why would that be because it is my favorite color. Okay. Any, anything, why is it your favorite color? It's like suiting. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Okay, we have many blues out here. Go on. I would like to be dark blue. Oh, okay. So you have a brother liking light blue and you have a brother liking dark blue. Fantastic. You know, I really like that. Yeah, go on. Why? I like the shade of dark blue. Uh huh. Like relaxing. Okay, relaxing. Fantastic. Yes. Where is uh, where are the others? Come on, tell me. Amina. Uh, I would like to be turquoise. Oh, again, that's a shade in blue itself, right? Uh, I like to. I would like to be that because it it looks very uh, bright and it looks attractive. Yeah, and it's royal, definitely. Yes. Okay, so whom do we have now? Farhana. Um, I would like to be uh, blue, like uh, a sh uh, really light blue, like, like the sky, because the sky is like it has no ending. Oh, wow. So you want to be infinite. No wonder your email ID is forever, Farhana. Okay, fantastic. Yes. We are having many blues. Yes, Abdullah Saqib, what about you? I want to be black color. Ah, mysterious, enigmatic. Yeah, go on. And why would that be? Because I like dark colors. Ah, fantastic. Okay, one of my favorite colors is black as well. Okay, yes, Munim. I would like dark green. Dark green. Okay, finally, I got some other color because we just have everybody liking blues out here. Yeah, go on. And why would that be, Munim? I don't like dark color. Oh, okay. Yes. And where? Are you? Okay. And what about you, uh, Ahmad? Yes. Ahmad, you need to unmute yourself and let me know, please. What What color would you be? Do we have Ahmad or have Hello? you lost? Him? Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were in space somewhere and I needed to connect with you. Check, check, check. Go on, Ahmad. Tell me. Uh, I like red because 
yeah why because i think we've lost ahmed okay so i think we've covered up everybody right your favorite colors okay now you know basically um, my ancestors are from gujarat okay and whatever it is gujarat no, no doubt it's become very industrialized and you have lots of factories and industries coming up but then also primarily there's lots of agriculture and farming out there are you aware anything about agriculture and farming or for that matter gardening are you aware about it yeah or no yes or no yes. are you know yeah okay so now when you have to do gardening what do you do first or when you're doing farming if when a farmer needs to put some crops okay seeds right he needs to grow them what is the first thing the farmer would do first he would dig and put the seed and then water fantastic money we would dig and put the seeds yes but before that also he does something put the flower the song he will plow yes perfect perfect and before that what would he do you know you must be thinking business studies and why is she talking about agriculture right he would find the land okay he would find the land okay putting finding the land and putting in the seeds and plowing that's something that he needs to do what happens if the land is kept that way only for a long time what grows in it he will have to keep growing in it then only it will be fertile oh. or then okay right right so saklain what do you think what do you think happens saklain if 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 there's like something growing is just the land is just kept like that and what grows in it yes safia i can't hear you can you just uh, be a bit loud please he has to check if the mud is like for growing or not like some mud perfect he has to check whether the mud is there for growing or not and you know something like weeds grow weeds you know weeds those jungly plants in our local language right so first he has to remove all those weeds right and then only he can prepare his soil for growing the crops do you get it because weeds are going to definitely destroy the crops okay anyways maybe you didn't connect with this language okay when you have to install a software don't you make sure that that your device is ready for it okay and if there are some unwanted files you remove it maybe you format that device right and then you install the software so the same way before we start the business study session okay there are some myths you know there are some misunderstandings regarding business and entrepreneurs which i want to clear out before we start with the business study should we do that yeah okay so what are the basic myths that you hear related to business or maybe entrepreneurs okay i'm sure you all have heard about this sometime down the line that business is done only by people who are rich right is that right? fair to the poor yeah it's not fair to the poor so, but that, so some is, people they do business even when they are poor yes exactly so that is what this myth is all about these are myths these are just made up stories you know these are not the truth rich no you don't need to be rich what do you need is good ideas you know what do you need is something which we you can capitalize on you need not be rich there are many ways wherein you can definitely fund up your business second is business is only invention is it true class business is all about inventions all the time no 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 so what is business all about is it just inventing new new things yes what's the mudda no. pair no no so what do you think abdullah saqib yes tell me business is all about buying and selling things it's not about like if a person is rich he can do business or something like that okay so it's about it buying and selling but do you have to always come up with new products invent new things in business explain no. what do you think? it's is the way you sell your product not what you make okay is the way you sell your product not what you make okay but then you have to have make products also at time right 
so do you think you need to invent every time no it is not necessary to invent every time because business is not only about invention it is also about finding problems to solution right if you have a problem okay if there are some problems which are going on what solution you can provide and that is what business is all about apart from manufacturing of course you need to invent you need to innovate definitely there is there but that is just one typical viewpoint that is just one angle business is so much more than that you know you have something like maybe okay uh, for for the matter like now there are so many things which are coming up online right that's not innovation online was already there zoom was already there but there were some problems in the zoom right and they gave a solution to it so again that was your business and because of that they could sell off more and more products of them okay now third thing does age matter in business no 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 how many of you all say no okay i think everybody says no yes you know usually there's this typical uh, abu that you know business is only for the young and the restless people you know it's not for everybody but well let me tell you that you know kfc i'm sure abdullah you must be having kfcs a lot because it's all halal out there right okay you know this kfc the person who started kfc he started the business at the age of 62 when most of the people think about retiring what does he do he starts his business in fact down further when we go in our sessions i'm going to talk about children kids and teenagers who have started their business and have been very successful okay now taking business business is you there is a kid also who who is who is holding a company he uh, he every year he has a lot uh, means uh, he gets lot of money yes money mm. you are right in fact not one there are so many and that's what we got to do and maybe down the line i'm hoping you all will be in you know entrepreneurs and you all will be having your own businesses okay right now huge risk do you think taking business business is always about risk 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 is it no is it, is it? What do you think? You know, taking business is all about risk. No. No. Now, see what happens. There are risks. Okay, there's no doubt. Compared to a salary job, you know, where person is working, okay, he gets a fixed amount of salary every month. But you know, the people who do business, they have this innate ability of what to sense. You know, what where I'll be having more risk, where I'll be having less risk. or where i'll be having a profit where i'll be having a loss or where i would be ca causing harm or where it would be benefit for me so the thing about an entrepreneur a thing a thing man is that he will definitely change he will definitely analyze the situation and wherever there is minimum amount of risk he will go ahead with it right so huge risk is again another myth okay again business takes lots of time you know it's like you don't have a personal life and you don't have time for social life and you don't have any other time for any hobbies or anything all the time you're just doing business business and business is it true no no yes is it something you like yes uh, amina uh, it, uh, if you start a business of something you like then it will not uh, take up your time because you're already doing something that you like Yeah. you know it's like not only with business but even in corporate field okay even when people are working aren't they not working more than 8 like 8 hours is i doubt anybody works 10 and 12 hours there are so many time our fathers go to work right right what at what 7 in the morning and they come back home what at 11 or maybe 8 or 9 so it's like time all you have to do is manage your time properly so when somebody tells you you know oh business takes lots of time so don't go into business or don't start your business no you have some lovely techniques you have time management which you can do and you can have your social life your personal life and definitely even your business okay does business require experience yes yes okay sophia says yes what about the boys where are the boys you know but sometimes when People make lots of money that they people call them business. Not quite. 
Girls, girls are busy talking about business. Boys are already making money in business. Ah, yeah, that's what you know. I think they have rich dads, you know, so they don't need to worry about it. Come on, Muslim Badaf, where? Saklain, tell me. Uh, they, we don't need that kind of experience, but we do need a little experience. Okay, you do need little experience. Okay, what do you think, Muslim Badaf? Do we need uh, experience to start a business, to be an entrepreneur? Not much, like. Sorry, could you be a bit loud, please? No, not much experience. Okay, not much experience. What about you, Saklain? For uh, doing business, I think so. It would be uh, compulsory. Okay, it would be compulsory. Okay, you know what? Actually, you need. skills and talent because experience is something you're going to definitely definitely build up over the time you know but you need skills and talent so if somebody says oh no no don't start right now wait till you get experience oh my god not going to get experience if i'm not going to start all right so if you have the skills you have the talent and you have acquired knowledge regarding that particular you have many courses you could go for right and when you acquire knowledge you are ready and you can go ahead with it. okay now do you think you need a place for doing a business humaira what do you think do you think you need a place to do business no humaira uh, 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 unmute yourself sweetie please not particular yes humaira Do you need place to do a business? Yes, ma'am. You need a place to do business. Okay, Ahmad Kazi, where are you, Mr. Mango? Do you need place to do business? I really want to see the entrepreneur online. You know, I would like no. to see a video. Yes. We don't need place. We can travel and also do trading, and that is also business. Actually, really, really, do we need a place? You know, I, you know, it's not. Yeah, you don't. Need. Yeah, you don't really need a place unless you are going going for a large scale production and you do warehouses. But then also you can definitely take them and rent. We'll do that later. But really, really, you really don't need a place. Okay, you cannot do business while studying or while doing a job simultaneously. Do it. You can or can't you? You can. You can. You can. You can. You can. All of us think that way. Can anybody give me an example? Mm. Studying and business, job and business. What else? Right. Can somebody give me an example? Bill Gates, perfect. Right? He was studying and he started what? His business. Business. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Now one of the major myths. about business is that people do business only for the sake of money they do it only for the sake of the money is it so is it so for passion yes very good it's all about passion very good it's all about passion what else come on albert einstein okay albert einstein fantastic but he used to feel still he became such a great scientist He's perfect. 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 So he was studying, and of course, he was inventing. Fabulous. Okay. So now tell me, do we? Uh, is is business all about just money, money, and money? People do business just for high revenue, only for money. No. 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 So what? It's passion. What else? You know, you have a dream. At times that you want to do something, you have, have, have a goal. You have a goal. Goal, fantastic, Muni. You have a goal, and there are sometimes you have these personal yeah. achievements that you want to reach, and there are many times that you want to give back to the community, right? Like the way Bill Gates, he had his what business. He made loads of money, and he gave it to charity, right? Philanthropist, wherein he has his. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, wherein they help the people and charity. Okay, now one okay. very important thing, and I want an answer from everybody: Are entrepreneurs born? Are they born? No, if you no entrepreneurs are not born. 
Okay. You need talent. You need to work hard, and only you can be an entrepreneur. Okay, but then if my father and my grandfather, he's a businessman, he's an entrepreneur, and I'm born in this family, so am I a born entrepreneur? No. No. So business is only for people who have generations of business. No. No, you have to work over it. No, yes, Saklin, go on, tell me, Saklin. Ah, entrepreneur is born. Like it's in the family. It's in genetics. Is it hereditary? What do you think, Saklin? Yes, Saklin. Okay. Mazam yes. mutabir. Yes, there's so much like you have passion, you have motivation, you know, you have your dreams, you have all these things, and that's what definitely is responsible, right? Uh, okay, Saklin, you cannot unmute yourself. Uh, all right, um, I'll just try to do that. Doubt, sir, are you there? Okay. Well, I'll just try to do that. Just a minute, Saklin. Okay, you can just type in your answer uh, till that time. So, entrepreneurs are not born; they are created. We have seen examples of so many people who are born in the business family, and then also they have not been successful. And we have seen people who come from poor family who have nothing. Dhirubhai Ambani, right? And they made a huge, huge, huge success, right? So, going ahead with this. business do you think you would be the businessman and entrepreneur yeah yes yes why not you can be an entrepreneur you can start your own business all you require is the right attitude the positivity and you have so many tools and resources on the way that you can collect and you can definitely definitely have your own business okay so may i have a thumbs up from everybody for, from all the entrepreneurs, yeah, my future entrepreneurs, great going, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, now moving ahead. You know what? You would be wondering that, like, oh, we, I'm just a teenager, and you know, I'm studying, and you know, I have my restrictions, and I have to take permission from my parents. You know, under parental guidance and parental control, and I don't have lots of finance. I have limited pocket money. Then how can I be into business? How can I be an entrepreneur? So now I'm going to share with you few success stories of children of teenagers who with nothing and all the challenges and all the problems, they overcome it and they definitely went successful and their businesses are established and running very, very successful. Okay, so the first person I would talk about is What's the name? Can you see? Holly Kane Conroy. Conroy. Now this boy is just 11 year old. Okay. And his father has a shop. Actually, it's more like a warehouse. Okay. In the warehouse, he had a shop. The shop was for what? Just to sell the spare parts of vehicles. And it wasn't a shop where people would come, physical shop, on foot shop. No, it was a shop on internet. People would order. And then he would deliver. So it was more like a storehouse, you know, for him, a storeroom. Now, Cain would help his father, you know, if there's a client who would come to buy, okay, then giving them a drink from vending machine and things like that. But then Cain would get bored because there were not many footfalls. I mean, that, that means there were not many people coming at the shop. So now since this was a warehouse area in East Los Angeles, maybe Ahmed, now you would like to listen more, okay? So in, uh, east of Los Angeles, this was a warehouse area. So there were lots and lots of cartons. Now these cartons, these carton boxes, Cain asked his father, can I take these and make something out of it? And the father said, yes, go ahead. Okay. And you know what he did? He actually made an arcade. You know, arcade, a game arcade, a game zone out of the cartons just out of the cartons and nothing else and he had all the games wherein you know you can pick uh, you know you have those kind of claws wherein you pick the toys up the soft toys up and then you have games wherein you know you have those uh, billiards the pool and you have games of racing and all and he made this you can you can actually google it and see the video he made an entire arcade of it 
apparently after making and he had you know those machines also he made out of cardboard only wherein you know you have this one dollar and two dollar you pay and you get the tickets and with the tickets then you can play the games see see at this age itself he had such brilliant mind and he had such details for business and what did he do then finally he made this whole arcade but eventually there were not many people coming to him until mulek this person came to buy a cardo handle from his father and he was very impressed when he saw this cardboard arcade when he saw this arcade he said oh i would like to play and he paid 2 dollars and he saw the whole thing and he was super super impressed mulek immediately made a video and it went viral and the next day there were more than hundreds of people who came to play in his arcade now imagine what did he have nothing did he require much finance no did he require lots of you know fancy stuff no just basic cardboard and he made a business out of it and his business ran so well in fact down the line because inspired by his idea mulek started imagination foundation now what is imagination foundation it is nothing but Imagine Foundation is a non-profit organization which finds, okay, funds and looks after creativity, entrepreneurship in children. So, if you are creative, you have a business idea, you are brilliant, okay, and you need funding for it, you need support for it. Imagination Foundation is for you. And not only this, that he started a cardboard challenge. and what is that cardboard challenge that out of the cardboard what different things can you make kane made an entire arcade right and this challenge is been going around the world and kids are coming up with brilliant ideas for this cardboard challenge so my challenge to you would be could you make something out of cardboard okay now moving ahead my next success story is two sisters okay so amina and aisha probably right amina all right we have two sisters out here humaira you and your sister probably farhana and umaima okay kate and ani madden mazam mudabbir you two brothers can do it as well okay now kate and ani madden they live in ireland okay and these are school going girls so happened that ani's pony okay she had a horse she had a pony and it got cancer right and that is the time they realize that they have to do something for the animal because they love their animals you know and obviously when you have a pet okay you get connected to it and when the pet goes through so much of pain and trauma you want to do something about it now animals especially horses are very very prone to ulcers in their stomach you know horses have lots of ulcers developing in their stomach so what did these sisters do they said why don't we come up with some kind of formula some kind of feed 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 that means the food that they are eating which will not cause ulcer in their stomach okay first they tried they were scientists they tried to use all herbs natural ingredients okay all kind of herbs they used and they went ahead with their formula apparently they did not get selected but this did this deter them no they said that there's something wrong with the formula let me try it again and again they came up they went on did their invention did their research they did and finally they came up with a successful formula a successful formula of natural ingredients of herbs for the horses now other people also sell things okay they sell feed which protects the stomach of the horse from ulcers but those have side effects why because they are chemical these sisters were smart see they have that love for the animal you know these three sisters were intelligent okay they combined the love for the animal with their brains okay and what did they come up with they said why don't we use natural ingredients so whenever the horses were given food to eat all the people had to do is the fenu health is the name of the company they had to just make sure that they sprinkle some of fenu cure on the feed and when the horses would eat it 
it would protect the uh, lining from forming ulcers and do you know what the major advantage these girls had see see the business thing they had they said if we use chemicals then the day of the horse race they will not be able to eat our product you know why because when they eat this they, this has a side effect so whenever there are horse races 3 4 days before the other products were supposed to stop but not the product of these two sisters why because they were made from natural ingredients so you can imagine how much sales more they would have because other companies other products nobody would buy them for the four days before the horse racing and they would just buy these two sisters products and by the way the prime minister of england okay he went to meet them and he actually tasted their product this product is not only for horses even the human beings can consume it so this is the story imagine you know they are talking about in their high school okay when they go for their trips school trips to abroad okay to other countries there they have this business meetings can you imagine doing your studies talking about your exams and everything and same way you're doing your budget planning right you, you know you're giving your viva you're giving your uh, exams and you're giving to your teacher your viva and at the same time you're preparing your sales report so this is possible all you need is the love your passion and your dedication okay now moving ahead okay so we have jack came not everybody does business to make money okay jack came okay he loved computers okay when he started his high school he learned html when he learned html what did he do first thing okay when we learn html that's what even i did when i learned html the first thing i did is make a website okay it's so typical right he made a website okay now in the website there's one thing that interested him the most is the search engine you know when you search when you have to search on google right you type right don't you type when you have to search something on the google right so when you that that is called the search engine and when you type on google say some suppose you want to know how is the weather today okay and when you type it on the google or suppose you want to know about jack kim only you will type on google jack kim and what will happen the google will give you all the results related to jack kim right the images the videos the news and everything the wikipedia everything related to jack kim will come on your screen so this is called as a search engine okay so he was very much interested in it what did he do he developed a search engine okay now when he developed the search engine he just got about uh, 2000 people coming to his website to his search engine not many came okay and he earned only about 200 to 300 dollars what did he do he realized there is some problem i need to improve i need to improvise so he went to stanford he studied over there he got skills he got knowledge he got degree right and what did he do after acquiring those skills and talent he started again and when he made this benelab search engine he has been working with you know if you start your microsoft okay and on microsoft what is the search engine on microsoft anybody knows anybody knows the search engine on microsoft microsoft edge yeah on the microsoft edge what is the search engine over there Bing. Yeah, you can. You Bing, perfect. Bing, and he is he is the one who works at the back end of Bing. Benilab is the one who is working with Bing, right? So when you put in over there, right? When you're putting your search, like for Jack Kim, suppose you write on Bing, it is actually his Benilab only which is working towards it. Okay, and what did he do? Right? He they have many challenges. First thing is first thing what. he knew he needed to get some knowledge he needed to get some more skills he got that secondly they were facing problem with the challenges was finance they didn't have much of finance so initially they were making on photo editor and then they moved on to photoshop uh, salim bhai is over here he knows how that works right and maybe he'll have a session with you thirdly their rule of the company was no adults so all of the people all of the employee all of the people working in benilab were just 
high school students and nobody else and they had many challenges but they overcame the finance part you know the skill part and now they are earning more than 2 lakh dollars can you believe it earning 2 lakh dollars is wow you know i mean you're in high school but giving away all that money for charity is even bigger wow can you believe earning something like more than 2000 dollars or something like this and then you giving away the entire amount of money to charity his main aim is only to make philanthropy easy and more accessible to people so here you have heart and brain he used his brain to develop a search engine and whatever revenue he gets gets whatever money the business makes what he does is he gives away in charity every day to a new cause isn't that somebody with a big heart right so here were the three success stories of three different children in three different continents and how they overcome their challenge how even with the amount of limitations they had they wanted to succeed because they had a passion they motivated themselves and they overcome their challenge why because they wanted to go ahead with their business okay now can you read what is on the screen do isn't it you true do what you love and you will never work again in your, your life make sure the career you choose the business you choose entrepreneurs whatever field you go into it's what you love it's what your passion is and you will never find it difficult or you will never find it a headache or you will never feel oh my god it's so burdensome and it's trouble right like i love teaching and here i am and i'm so happy every day i'm up at 4 o'clock in the morning all excited all charged up why because i get to meet you all right now moving ahead okay what do you see on the screen what is it fire fire right right and what do we use fire for or oh, we have many uses this is not a science right cooking for light for light we go camping we can use it for light stay warm to stay warm okay right now fire we use even to boil water and what at what degree does the water boil 100 100 okay and at what fahrenheit does it boil 100 degrees is celsius okay there are two yes. units of measurement 270 okay. 270 okay your close 273 273 wow i like that very specific answer for hana but you are close it's in 200 and it's more on the earlier side anybody it's 212 the water boils at 212 degrees fahrenheit okay now tell me what is the condition of water at 211 degrees very hot it would it be it is just about to boil it is just about to boil but it isn't boiling right yes. is it yes. boiling mazam no. mutaper abdullah is it boiling at 211 no. degrees abdullah saqib no No. no right it is not boiling at 211 degrees it's just about it. so actually the phase between just about to boil and boil it's the matter of how many degrees one just one degree can make a difference just one degree can from a, about to boil water to a boiling water and with that boiling water you have steam coming out and the steam can make run engines and can run factories right we use fire and volcanoes also yes uh, safia what did you say darling we use fire and volcano also yes volcano you have fire and volcano as well you know you have that fire and volcanoes as well that <laughs> lava right now that 1 degree can make a difference from being just about to boil to boil and once it boils it can bring about so many changes i want to share a video with you all just a minute okay can you see the screen yes can you see the video no 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 not yeah 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 i'm done i'm done you hey. can't see the video no no Okay, just a minute i'll just stop here just a minute i'm just about done uh, daud bhai just give me 2 minutes okay okay just 2 minutes i'm done
Okay, I'll start my share screen again. All right.